Welcome on back to See The Thing Is. This segment is called Dating Tips From A Woman. First thing is, I like to discuss a previous relationship. Hi, uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm here for tips, but I'm happy to, to listen if you have like a short story. Yeah, I got a short story for you. My previous girlfriend, things didn't exactly work out, let's just say. It happened to be a little bit of cheating and Reddit was involved. Mm, Okay, so what happened? Well, the first thing is I located her Reddit account and I found that she'd been posting some pictures uh, of herself in the nude on Reddit. And that was a little bit of a, a red flag for me personally. Yeah. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, I think that could be a cause for a concern. Yeah, so so I was quite a bit concerned. She was posted on this forum, and I don't really want to get into it, but let's just say it involved seashells, and to be honest with you, it helped me understand a little bit more about why she always collected so many seashells. Cool. I think it's fair to say breaking it off would be appropriate. Well... It kind of got a little bit worse. I kind of went home one day after a long day of work. I came home and I opened my door and I kind of found her with another man. Oh my gosh. The thing is, I walk in and and they are uh, interlinked, let's just say. And they were in kind of like a a, a missionary uh, kind of position in... And then it it got it got kind of crazy. Mm, okay. Yeah. So so well he they were in this position and and he was wearing knee pads too and there was a camera there but he he like flipped her he like flipped her and then uh, he was they were still interlinked after they flipped and all of a sudden they were in this uh, crazy position where she was kind of looking like a doggy but he was still standing up right he was almost behind her but they were still still interlinked that's that's pretty traumatic yeah I, I thought it was a little much and and so then i said to her hey you you shouldn't be doing that i'm your boyfriend and you're my girlfriend and i don't know who this guy is and and then it got a lot worse it, it got worse yeah because they kept like jumping and driving and and then she told me close the door and i said i i was kind of stuck then because I kind of, you know, part of me wanted to cut, part of me wanted to close the door because I was visually seeing all this occur. But at the same time, because she asked me to, I kind of felt like I had to to stand my ground. So I said, no, I ain't shutting the door. Oh, yeah. So, so I just stood there and, and they kept, they kept going. Anyways, I said to them, I would appreciate it. If you, you all stop, if y'all stop, it was kind of nice because for a second, the gentleman said, okay, I'll finish. And then he told her to, to turn around. And so they were no longer in a link, but she was still kind of facing him. And, uh, you know, well, I mean, I'll, I'll give him this, I'll give him this credit. He did finish, but the way in which it happened, um, I, I wasn't totally comfortable with it. I can only imagine. Yeah, so so I told him to please leave. Um, and he did. He, he did, you know, he took a beer and then he took the rest of the 12-pack. But he did leave. So I appreciated that. Uh, and then after, I kind of had a heart-to-heart with her. Okay, what happened? Well, I told her, hey, I was not totally comfortable with what I just saw. And what'd she say? That I should get used to it. Because apparently every Tuesday... It's find a new bull Tuesday. Um, okay. Yeah, so so I told her, hey, listen, from now on, if you do this two or three more times, I'm done. Oh, very assertive. Yeah, that's what I thought. But the next four Tuesdays, a similar situation had occurred. And at that point, I decided enough was enough and i finally left her i still miss her but do you think i made the right decision yeah absolutely all right well thank you this has been dating tips from a woman and you're listening to see the thing is